in this video we're going to continue on of how to render images with the chart.js labels plugin this specific plugin is quite useful not only for rendering images or sorry for percentages values and labels but also images and with the images we can do a lot of items so if we scroll down here to the bottom basically where we have our plugin settings we have here our namespace for render in here all we have to do is indicate the images if we save this now and refresh we can see now it's loading it takes some time to load because i'm using the specific link here and probably better is to probably download it but if you have this link with the unpack package link that moment it slows down a bit however you can see right now there's nothing being shown so how can we put in here an image well, first of all, let's grab a specific image. So for this case, for example, here, I'm going to grab this specific image here. I'm here right now on Charge.js documentation. And if I click here, right click on this here, and I say copy the image address, I'm going to copy this specific address here. And so with this, we can now start to render an image. If I paste this here, you can see this is the link or the URL referring to that specific image. And what I want to do now is here, indicate images. And then what we're going to do here is because this is images and the reason why this is images it is an array why is it an array so it's so we need to use here brackets but the reason why it's an array is because we have here multiple segments or slices of the donut or pie chart and we want to make sure that every specific item here has a matching image or has an image related to that so we have these brackets here and then within this bracket, basically, we can put in here our query braces. And in here, we can now start to put in the specific item. First of all, we need the link or the URL, which is the source. And we have here, of course, this specific item here, or the link that we have here. Make sure that this is a string, comma. And then we can indicate here the height and the width. Or maybe what would be more appropriate is for us to say the width. Let's say you're 16 pixels comma and then the height 16 pixels here as well so once we have this we can save this now and if we save and refresh you can see here now we have one specific logo or icon being shown and the reason why it's only one is because we have an array here and what we would like to do now of course is to change this so let's increase the size of this or what i will do is i'm just going to copy this I'm going to say a comma we're going to add up another one and I will just increase the size of this one here. I'll make this 20, 20. And then here, another comma. And I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste a few more. And this one, I will make 30 pixels. So you can see some difference in size. It's easy. And this will be 22. All right. So if I save this now and refresh, you can see here now the icon or the image is starting to increase gradually more and more so everything here has been different setting except for the last one here we didn't indicate any icon because we only had six icons here or six images one two three four five and six so finally we could do here one more and with this let's put this on 35 and there you are so if i save this now and refresh you can see here now we get all of these and what you could also do here is a pie. And if you save that here, there we are. Of course, you can see here, maybe it might not always fit. So you have to really consider the size of it. But with this, you can start to easily insert images into your pie or donut chart. Next, and if you are also interested, because apparently the it also has an option for the bars. For the bar chart and this one is quite nice because if you save this and refresh you can see here now how easily it is to put in these kind of icons on top of a bar absolutely beautiful and it was just in a matter of seconds so with this you can even use this here of course here you can see it will reach the top eventually if this value is too high for that i would highly recommend to use a special feature called grace where you can put a space between here